Hey everyone, it's Eric Morosco with the Espresso to Go Show. And I'm here once again with my buddy, Robbie Slaughter with Slaughter Development, enjoying our uh, espresso. And a little Lavazza, it's my favorite, uh, my favorite bean. Did you, did you like it? That's great. Not, not your typical Starbucks brand, but it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, smoother, I think, and a lot not as bitter. Yeah. And uh, usually when you make an espresso, a lot of times the humidity, we have had a little bit of rain here today, and it really affects the way the beans are ground. But when you have a frying machine like I have back here, it always helps when you can dial down the beans. But anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about today, um, word of mouth marketing. That's right. And I think, you know, we both do a lot of marketing, uh, excuse me, a lot of uh, networking. And with that being said, um, there's some do's and there's some don'ts. There's some things that we've experienced, uh, mm -hmm. some positive things, some negative things. Want to share a couple? Yeah, well, I think a, a really important do for word of mouth marketing, for networking in sure. person, is to come and bring a positive attitude. You know, that sounds obvious. But is it your first impression? And if you come and maybe you've had a bad day, you're tired, uh, kids are bothering you, you know, put that aside for this first impression. Yeah, that can never happen. Maybe. You know, could it? <laughs> kids bothering you, try tired, to, stressed out from the day. Try work. to be upbeat, and positive <laughs> in this first impression. People are going to remember you for how you interact with them at this event, and so try to be positive. No, I, I've heard a couple people say, and I've, I've done it a few times, is you know, right before you walk in the event, just take a deep breath, smile. Because you use so many more muscles when you smile mm -hmm. and get you kind of your adrenaline going, get you energetic, and you, before you walk in. So that's great. You know, another thing I've noticed, uh, kind of a don't, if you will, is I've seen a lot of people walking around networking events carrying their business cards, their folders, their catalogs, all this stuff. So when they grab you, they just want to do that, that product dump that you do, that you don't do in a sales call. So why would you do it in a networking event? Yeah, you know, networking event is not a sales event. It's an opportunity to meet people, sure. to build relationships, to start things out. You know, that reminds me as well, another don't at a networking event is that, you know, you shouldn't use these events or these chances to meet people um, as ways to try to close sales. No. You should use it as ways to start relationships. So, you know, we should get together and talk more, see how we can help each other. Maybe uh, I might have some leads or some contact or some feedback or some ideas for you. But not let's get together because I want to sell you a product. Okay. I think if you go to these events to meet people that you like, that you can develop a business friendship with, mm -hmm. uh, and then take that offline, like you said, to develop their relationship. So you're there trying to get to know people, to kind of cipher through everyone, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then offline when you meet, that's where you start really diving into what you do, how you do things, how you differentiate mm -hmm. yourself. Now you might have some of the, some of those conversations at a, at a higher level really quick, but when you you know later on when you mm -hmm. sit down for half an hour over a cup of coffee mm -hmm. or something, that, that's when you kind of dive into that stuff. Absolutely. And you know, that reminds me too. Another do is that you should use it as an opportunity to make these kinds of promises and follow up. With Problems to call or to email to give a referral later on. Sure. It's a great time for networking event. And the reason you want to make a promise and follow up on that promise is it shows commitment and dedication. And that's really the product or service that you got to sell first before you can sell anything to anybody. Yeah, trust the person. They got to believe that yeah. you are a person of your work. Yeah, if you're, if you're going to do this, why am I that you're already showing you're going to do one thing so that when I introduce you to somebody, I know you're going to do what you're That's right, you're going to work. Yeah, exactly. I guess the last thing here uh, that kind of uh, it's, it's for people who have a lot of do a lot of different things, like uh, an HR consultant, for example. Sure. They do HR. But when I meet you, you say you do HR. It's like there's a million different things you can do HR. So it's kind of though you've heard a lot of people talk about the law of the niche. Right. You know, what would your, what's your thoughts on that a little bit? How, how, would you, how can you dive that down a little bit? Well, you know, it, it's so ironic because all of us feel like we have so many different areas and we don't want to put ourselves in one no. box. But the reality is when you meet somebody, they're going to remember one thing. And so if you want them to remember one thing, pick something that's memorable. You know, so you, for example, Eric, it's better for you not to say promotional products, but that you sell promotional products that really help schools and nonprofits. That's really sure. a major focus for yeah. you. And that way I'm going to remember, oh, when I see schools or nonprofits in my, in my contact list, in my daily life, I'm going to think about you and the great products you can offer. Exactly. Well, hey, you know, I think you and I have both grown our businesses significantly, utilizing word of mouth marketing, specifically networking. And I think it's a great thing. So if you guys are out there, uh, we'll put our, uh, our emails or our web pages online so you can kind of contact us. If you have any questions, leave some notes. But until next time, this is Eric Morosco. Robbie Slaughter. And this is the Espresso Go Show. You make it a great one.